everyone, my name is Jessica. I'm the owner of Poodles and Pals Holistic Pet Spa here in Tucson, Arizona, and this is my four month old standard Raylan. Um, today, we're going to go over a few things on how to introduce your newly adopted puppy or newly adopted dog to the grooming process to keep them as safe and stress free as possible. We're going to go over a little bit about the car ride. Most of the time, dogs do arrive at, at the salon already stressed out because they are not used to being transported from place to place. So what we recommend here at Poodles and Pals is that you take your dog every day for at least two weeks on a short five minute car ride, whether it's around the block or to a destination, giving them lots of praise and lots of attention and after the car ride, rewarding them with a treat. Um, I use treats with Raylan because he is more motivated by treats than a verbal command. Um, so let's go over a little bit about introducing your dog to your actual grooming salon. Um, most people will make an appointment and drop the dog off the same week. I find that this is not beneficial to the dog. Um, go in, meet with your groomer, see if they offer uh, training sessions um, to introduce the dog to the grooming process as well as the salon and the atmosphere of the salon. Most salons are very noisy, there's lots of dogs running around, they're barking, the dryers are going. All these things can cause anxiety in a pet. So by introducing your pet to its groomer prior to coming in for your grooming appointment, this allows your pet to be familiar with its groomer as well as the environment. A lot of times people will typically visit us two to three times before we even wash, dry, or give the dog a haircut. So with this being said, Go in, talk to your groomer. If they do not offer this for you, these are not the groomers for you, which means they do not have the time to take individual attention for your dog. I'm going to show you how to introduce your dogs to nail clippers at home so the first time they come in for their grooming, it's not just a big fiasco. So what I do with most puppies and actually adult dogs that don't like having their nails clipped, I offer them a treat and reward for their foot. So you can use peanut butter, uh, make sure you use the all natural that doesn't have any type of artificial sweeteners in it. Or you can use these little snack treats from Nutra or whatever your dog prefers. If the dog keeps showing interest in your foot when you pick him up, you can have somebody hold one of these little pouches or a spoon that has peanut butter on it in front of the dog's face to keep the dog's attention while you trim the nails or while you play with the feet. If they give you your foot and don't give you any type of slack back, you can go ahead and reward them with a yes and give them their treat. This will go ahead and help from them pulling when we're trying to clip their nails and cause damage to their nail bed when you cut the quick. Most of the time too, most dogs don't flex this way. So it's better if you go ahead and teach your dog that its leg is going to be lifted behind it. And again, rewarding for good behavior. All right, we're gonna go over a little bit about the anatomy of a dog's nail. Much like us, a dog's going to have a vein that runs through their nail, kind of like our cuticle bed, that if we cut into, we'll bleed. With Raylan, Raylan's are pretty short because we do his nails every two weeks. This is going to keep the nail, nail bed cut back and the quick receded. So I recommend that every two weeks that you have your dog's nails trimmed or buffed. Now, if you wanna try this at home, you want to flip your dog's foot back because dog's legs don't stretch out this way. It's very uncomfortable for them and you're going to end up biting your dog. So pull it back similar to how you would with a horse. And if you look on the back side of your dog's nail, most of them will have a little white dot at the end of where their quick is at. You're going to go ahead and trim it just a little just above where that line is at. I always say less is more. So if you're unsure of where your dog's quick at, Take a little bit off at a time and use a file to get the rest of it. Most puppies shouldn't have a haircut starting at their 12 to 13 week mark. They should be introduced again to the grooming salon and their groomer before they actually get a haircut. Let your groomer tell you when they think your dog is ready for a groom. They will be completely honest with you if you listen. We use a electric toothbrush. You can pick any one of these up at CVS or a 99 cent store. They're very cheap and they're effective. They make the same sound that our clippers make, which most dogs are uncomfortable with not only the sound, but the buzzing on their bodies. So you'll go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna grab some treats. If the dog negatively reacts to this, do not stop or turn it off. Keep it on 
and reward them. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to run this over his head and on his ears. And I'll give him a treat while I'm doing this. So he associates this sound and this vibration with me being rewarded. Especially on poodles and doodles and anything that needs its face or feet shaved. Go ahead and make sure you take it in the upper corners of the eye. This will not hurt them. It's just a toothbrush. You can even give them a little toothbrush while you're in there. And then reward them. This is going to get them used to this sound. Again, it's all about exposing your dog to things that they haven't heard. Um, the vibrations and things like that that they're going to experience at the grooming salon. This being the number one cause of why dogs get cut at the grooming salon because as puppies, they're not used to having something buzzed around their ears, especially on schnauzer breeds that have their ears cropped where you have to actually shave their ears. A lot of groomers will accidentally cut dogs' ears because they're trying to look at what you have in their hand. Um, so go ahead and turn it on again and take it on the inside of their ears so they get used to, again, the vibration and having their ears held and on their feet. And especially all breeds should have it done on their pads because most of the time groomers will turn off their pads. So if he's like he could care less right now, I'm going to go ahead and reward him for his good behavior. Yes, good boy, baby. Remember, it's all about positive reinforcement. If the dog does start to act up for this, you can go ahead and calm them without turning this off, get them to a calm state, and then reward their calm state. And then leave it on a good note and try again the next day. I recommend that you do this twice a day with your pet to get them used to the process.